Hello everybody and hello Robert and hello Ken. I want to thank you for joining me here in this beautiful morning in Florida in Cocoa Beach. The sun is yet to come up and I'm very lucky to have these two with me because they've been these two people have contributed to the world of astrology so much. I think most of us are not aware of their great contribution and Ken is a researcher that really uh, is the only one that was that successfully reputed the uh, critics of astrology and was able to publish in a non-astrological uh, um, journal. journal. A mainstream journal, uh -huh. academic journal. Uh, uh, yeah. His study that uh, verifies that there are um, facts in astrology that can be verified and, re and replicated in empirical research. Is that true, Ken? Thank you, Boaz. Uh, yes, my article was uh, recently published in the Journal of Consciousness Studies, which is a mainstream academic journal in philosophy. Uh, my arguments were mainly philosophical uh, against the criticism of uh, Jeffrey Dean and uh, Ivan Kelly uh, in their uh, very well-cited uh, 2003 article, Is Astrology Relevant to Consciousness inside. Uh, my article uh, is, I called it, uh, Clearing the Log Jam in Astrological Research uh, because I identified this particular article as a, uh, as a, as a chief obstacle that is uh, obstructing uh, astrological research. And the uh, arguments made within the Dean and Kelly argument uh, needed to be examined. I think, uh, with the help of my colleagues uh, who did peer reviewed my article, uh, effectively uh, provide uh, counter uh, arguments uh, against theirs. So, uh, at this point, uh, I feel that uh, there is no really good argument against astrology, either in terms of uh, the rationality that uh, uh, was provided by Kelly or the uh, so-called objective uh, experiments uh, that, that uh, Dean uh, argued uh, against astrology. Could I add a sure, comment? Sure. Because, um, Robert Curry, I just want to introduce you. Hi. Robert has, uh, has received a Lifetime Award from the Indian uh, Association of Astrologers, right? The Krishnamurti, Krishnamurti Institute, Institute of Astrology. Institute of Astrology. Okay. He is an astrological researcher as well. He was one of the first people that used computers to generate reports. Back in the day when there were no computers and no PCs, his astrology shop was the cornerstone for many astrologers and a drawing stone for many astrologers from the world over, really. And uh, it's, it, this the story is still there in London, but uh, you're already off to greener pastures. I, I, I left in 2000, yeah. 2001. I live in the other man. But I wanted to say about Ken's paper and why it is significant. Because what has happened is from about 1985, there's been a lot of criticism and, and a few tests that have been negative about astrology. And this has dampened down enthusiasm for research. And in the last five years, culminating with Ken's paper, which sums up many of the papers he's written, he also cites something that I've written. And Professor Ertl, and the combination uh, of all these effects has brought about, I think, has led to the possibility of a research conference, which hasn't happened for a long time. So his paper is the first paper in an academic journal uh, for uh, some 30 years, as far as I know. Wow. And and to put it in simple English, what uh, Ken was able to do opened up the possibility for uh, research that is pro-astrology to be cited in Wikipedia or in other journals because all these sites and places that educate millions and millions of people do not cite anything that is published in astrological uh, uh, paper, in, right. uh, journals. That's right. They, yeah, they, the, 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 re the reasoning is that you, it, you, it, you cannot cite any astrological journal as far as 
Jim, Jim well, Jimbo Wales is concerned on Wikipedia cannot be uh, is not they is not a reliable resource for citation. But then, if you go to a mainstream journal, generally they say, "Oh, uh, go to an astrological journal." So you've got a circular argument. Or if a mainstream journal publishes, they risk people criticising them. But this is testimony to uh, good science and good journalism that Ken's paper was able to be successful. What I did was uh, re reference books, uh, two famous classic astrology books, Robert Hahn, Horoscope Symbols, and uh, Stephen Arroyo, Astrology, uh, Astrology, psychology the four elements to get the keywords out that matched I things so that no one could say, oh, well, I'm just picking these words. These were well-established words. And fortunately, I could divide the fire signs and the keywords and the earth sign keywords. And so they came out to be quite clear. Now, what I want to do is study, because not everybody can form that. It was significant. The possibility of it was, uh, I can't even exact figure, I think it's P.008, it's a very, very unlikely that it's a random result. But it doesn't mean to say it's astrology, it just says it's, it looks like there's a strong correlation. What I'd like to know is what happened to the people who didn't fit in, because that would be the next stage of research, because it's very, in its early days, but it's fantastic to have the result for me. But every time I look at any data, I look at data, I see astrology. If you think something is there, you'll spend hours finding it. If you don't think it's there, you'll go, oh, I looked, it's not there. And that's the difference. So really, astrologers need to do our own research, because having a critic say, I couldn't find it, means nothing. See, the rain is coming back, so I just want to bring us to our last point. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for braving this weather with me. Um, so here we are at the Kepler, at the Kepler Conference. It's the first research-based astrology conference and it has been amazing we saw researchers that have brought proof that we can predict breast cancer to a precision of 95 percent and all we kinds of I have to take it yes. back because I had a discussion it isn't yes. quite as accurate as that um, but it is very interesting in the survey in the, within the survey um, there, there was a, a factor that showed that if someone was, had this in their chart they were twice as likely Mm. Uh, to, uh, or they had a higher risk, basically, yeah. and that was significant. I te checked the figures, um, so we couldn't necessarily say there was a definite. It was nothing like ninety nine percent, but it was twice as many. Sorry. When you're talking to the audience, what do you think us as an astrological community worldwide should do next? What is the next step? What What should be our goal as yeah. a community? Well, what I, I well, we need to gather ahead, data, yeah. basically. We need to. Have a very hard time finding data. We need data. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. And how can we, we gather data? The, and it's always a problem because we want time to birth. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, there are laws about getting the uh, person data. Um, what I'm thinking, what I was thinking, I haven't really talked to many people tonight, is to do a meta analysis. Because from this conference, we've had quite a lot of papers with significant results. Very promising results, they I would are. say. I mean, I, I'm thinking that if, uh, if, if various people were able to write an abstract, we would then have at least a paper summarizing the different results.